Chevy invited us today to check out the brand new Blazer EV. Now this is Chevy's latest SUV that is an EV. It's fully electric. And just for a quick bit of context here, this is going to be coming out in about a year and there's going to be a couple different trim levels starting at about $45,000 going all the way up to about $67,000 for this SS model, which is dual motor. So I'm here with Doug Houlihan, who is the executive chief engineer for the Blazer EV. Can you tell me what's behind the LCM platform, sort of what's the idea behind it? And where sure. Chevy is going with this? Yeah, we're really excited. And if you could, maybe we'll go around to yeah. the side of the vehicle. And we have on, on the yeah. Blazer EV three different battery sizes. And we took the largest battery size and we pushed the wheels out to the ends and we set that dimension. And when we set that long wheelbase dimension, we then wrapped our underbody around the entire perimeter. We have a low center of gravity. We enable the flat load floor inside the vehicle. And the structural rigidity is just simply outstanding. So that's where it starts. And then we also offer different trim levels. So we've got front wheel drive on the one LT. We have front wheel drive and all wheel drive on the two LT. And then the RS, which you can see over here to the right, that's where we go into the rear wheel drive. We still offer front and, front and all wheel drive, but that's where we go in with a bigger rear drive unit and create this rear wheel drive variant. And then coming back here to the SS, with that large rear drive unit, we put the front drive unit back in and we get a performance all wheel drive and that's what gets you the 557 horse and the 648 foot pounds of torque and at zero to 60 time of under four seconds with the wow mode. So what is wow mode? Wow, <laughs> it's wide open watts and this is where we turn up the power, we turn up the energy, you activate it through the VCS, it's there for the whole dry cycle. So for the, the gear heads in the audience, do you expect this will be a car that people could take on a racetrack potentially? Yeah, let, let's talk a little bit more about that. Great question. We have the front Brembo's, we have the 22 inch wheels and tires. We have an all season tire as well as a track tire. And then we have a specifically ch our uh, performance tuned chassis that goes with that track capability. In terms of, let's talk a little bit more about performance here, in terms of handling and bias, because you say the rear motor is gonna be potentially different. You're gonna have options. So you can get a bigger rear motor in the SS. Is that gonna give it more of a rear bias in terms of handling? Well, or? we've got you know performance uh, vectoring, torque vectoring, so we can get the right balance of the front to rear drive unit and the integration of those two together. So it but does give you the feeling in the handling of a rear drive vehicle, um, big torque levels in the, in the rear on the SS. This Ultium platform, you've got this underneath the Cadillac Lyric, the Hummer, the Chevy, Equinox, presumably, and of course this Blazer EV. So you've got this on a number of different vehicles. What is the approach with this Ultium platform? It seems like it's very flexible and modular. Yeah, exactly. And that that was a big decision from day one with General Motors, is to create the Ultium platform that has that modular capability to take the cells and the battery chemistries and to reuse it across all of our portfolio. And depending on the size of the vehicle, we can we can change the size of the battery packs and even the way they're integrated into the vehicle. So Why don't we walk around to another yeah. part of the vehicle? One LT with our front drive unit, 247 miles of driving range. Our two LT, 293. And then on the IRS model, 320, which represents the top of the range, 320 miles. Then when you go to the SS, still at 290, even with that outstanding horsepower performance. So with that 320 miles, is that a rear wheel drive that is rear configuration? Wheel drive. That's the rear wheel drive configuration with the largest battery pack. This Ultium platform, it seems like you're able to swap in different motors to you know, fit the vehicle, swap in different battery types, different battery densities. I understand you can align the batteries differently to get different power density from different vehicles. We can, uh, across the GM portfolio. On, on the Blazer EV, we're, we're sticking to the three different battery sizes and then creating choice for the customer. You know, some customers want that 247 mile variant and then you get all the way to this 320 mile range and, and it's still a very compelling price. This is Justin Salmon. You are the uh, interior designer or the? Yes, I was the lead interior designer on uh, kind of setting up the configuration you see there. Yeah, so tell me about the design aesthetic that you're going on here. So I think 
Yeah, proportion was a, a key part of the setup, and you heard a little bit about the OTM platform, and there are a lot of benefits there. You know, the longer, wider setup of the vehicle really lends itself to an athletic profile, something that would feel dynamic and lean. Uh, we really wanted to draw on inspiration from our other performance entries. So, you know, we look at vehicles like the Corvette, there's a lot of drama there and excitement when you first see the vehicle. Uh, we definitely wanted to channel some of that into the feeling of the Blazer EV. So uh, we're really excited about that. Some of the design decisions we made in the, in the front of the vehicle really accentuate those proportions. So you see the full width LED light bar, and not only does that highlight the width of the vehicle, but it's, it's also a functional communication point between the vehicle and the customer. So that will communicate a little bit of charging status with a, a unique animation that will you know, it'll speed up and become more intense depending on your charge status. But it'll also kind of be a bit of celebration in theater as you approach the vehicle and as you walk up, it kind of animates to greet you and there's a, a sense of choreography there that we think is really special. I noticed that the trim levels, we've got SS, we've got RS, This is a, these are Camaro trim levels that we're now applying to an right. SUV. What's the, uh, what's the thinking behind that? Well, you know, we definitely wanted this to be a, a performance-oriented entry. And uh, I think we don't use titles like SS Lightly. You heard a little bit about the performance from Doug, and it's really going to live up to that name. And I think the design has a responsibility to feel very exciting and, and, and impressive when you put those badges on something like this, too. You know, we, we don't use those, those titles lightly. You know, if we're going to put the SS badge on something, the performance has to be there. Uh, and I think you heard a little bit about that just a moment ago. Uh, this vehicle is really going to impress our customers when it comes to the performance side of things. But then also from an aesthetic standpoint, there's, a, there's an expectation of excitement and, and dynamism when you when you use titles like that as well. And I think the Blazer EV is really going to deliver in that category too. So this vehicle, as I understand, is fairly wide compared to most SUVs. It doesn't look that way. Tell me, like, what's... What's going on here? Why is it so wide? Well, you know, that was something with the Ultium platform. It allowed us to accentuate. There's a spaciousness that we benefit from there, especially when we talk about the interior of the vehicle. So even though we're getting a very dynamic and athletic profile, when you get inside the vehicle, there's still a feeling of usability and, and spaciousness, and you're going to feel really comfortable when you get inside. You'll notice the flat load floor. There's no kind of tunnel bump as you're sliding behind the console there. That's something we feel our customers are really going to appreciate as they get into this rear occupant space. Uh, and that width of the vehicle that we talked a lot about a moment ago, that's really going to be apparent as you're getting in and out of this rear space. You know, People are going to be able to feel comfortable back there. We have a, a, a fixed panoramic sunroof that you'll see kind of going through in the front of the rear of the vehicle. And there's a sense of spaciousness that comes from the, the light coming in there as well. Uh, the forward portion of that will be openable and there'll also be a motorized shade to, to kind of close that up so that on hotter days the customer is still going to be really comfortable. So those are features we're really excited about. Um, you know, as you look forward, that, that center display, really kind of the centerpiece of our, our design theme up there, that virtual cockpit system, VCS we like to call it, you have a 17.7 inch display. It's a free form, so it's kind of following the periphery on the outer side of the screen there. It's some technology we're really excited about. Um, again, slightly oriented toward the driver, but really working in concert with that 11 inch uh, cluster that you see in front of the wheel. 17.7 inch diagonal, and that's, you know, again, a free form. So we're making use of those active pixels as we go out to the right side of the screen there. Um, the other thing you'll notice as you look at this screen setup is we, we kept a few elements as physical inputs, like the, the volume knob that you'll see there in the upper corner, as well as the HVAC uh, controls you'll see down below the screen. And that was really an opportunity to allow customers to have you know, tactile feedback for those quick uh, adjustments you make to things like you know, your temperature and your, your volume. But there'll be opportunities to, to have redundancies within the screen but really offering the customer a choice in how they interact with things like that. I think that was a key takeaway we heard from interacting with customers. So we think we've struck the right balance of tactile and digital. We're really excited about this proximity-based sensing tailgate where as you approach the vehicle, if you've got a bunch of groceries in hand, uh, you can kind of walk up kind of close to the rear of the vehicle. It'll sense your presence and it will automatically open for you. I think it's really gonna be a seamless experience for the customer as they walk up to the vehicle and you know, in, in a few different scenarios, where waving your foot or, or trying to open the door is difficult, this will make it a lot more streamlined. 
these seats fold down to? Yeah, we've got a 60-40 split on those back seats. So there's an opportunity to fold them flat. You can you know, keep you know, some of the seats up if you want to have occupants, but have a little bit more flexibility for storage. You'll have some options there to get the most out of the storage space. Is there anything else you want to share about the design that people should, should know about this vehicle? Something you're particularly proud of? Sure. I would say the big takeaway is we tried to create an interior that would feel really special when you get in. Something highly expressive, very dynamic. We didn't want you to feel like you're getting into an appliance, but rather something designed with a heartbeat. Um, that's been the mantra for a lot of our performance vehicles, and we wanted to take that same thinking into how we designed the Blazer EV. And I think when customers get into this interior for the first time, that's going to be very apparent to them. That screen configuration that you saw, not only is it very exciting, it's also standard from the LT all the way up to the SS. And so the thinking was this immersive digital experience is what we want to have across the board for Blazor EV customers. And we think it's going to feel really special when you get inside. I'm Amy McDonald. I do the technology and feature management on the Blazor EV. When it comes to charging, people don't really know what charging a vehicle is like for the most part, because this is new technology. So what kind of charging experience can people expect? Yeah, so there's there's a multitude of ways that we've curated a positive charge experience for the Blazor EV. Um, one of which is in the tiny details such as offering a power open charge port door so that it's the seamless um, open and close experience when you're trying to even just access um, your charge port. The second thing and probably the most critical is our statistics and performance around charging. So the Blazor EV can accept up to 190 kilowatt DC fast charge for public stations. What that um, relates to is about 78 miles in just under 10 minutes during a DC fast charge. We also offer an 11 kilowatt um, off-board AC uh, charge module. Um, so that will not only enable a faster DC charger, but also get you 11 kilowatt of AC charging in your home. To get that 11 kilowatt charging at home, like what would I need to do? What would I need to install to get that? <laughs> because so, yeah, most people don't really know about this stuff yet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think a lot of people may be already familiar with the, the charge installation program we had running on our Chevrolet Bolt, Pro, um, Bolt product. And we're going to be um, doing something very similar with the Blazor EV customer. Um, specific details will be known closer to launch. Um, but that was such a wildly popular and successful program that we'll be continuing it. Right. So if I want to get something installed at home, General Motors is going to have a program to help me get that done, make it a little easier. Is correct. that fair to say? Correct, correct. And another way that we try to make the charge experience easier is in on your My Chevy app, on the mobile app, if you're going a long distance and you want a route plan, on your mobile app, as well as inside the vehicle, you can plug in your destination. It'll show you all the DC fast charge stations that are along the way. In addition to where they are, you can also see what your state of charge will be upon arrival, what the station availability is, what the power rating of that stations are, and you can also book yourself a charge station. Not only is our vehicle cockpit screen extremely aesthetically pleasing, um, what it also has is something that we're, we call Altify which is our end-to-end -end software platform. So what does that mean for the customer? So what Altify enables is seamless and frequent downloads of features, applications, enhancements to features throughout the vehicle's life cycle. So what that means for the Blazor EV additionally is that the vehicle gets better over time and we'll be making certain features, certain capabilities of the vehicle available from years to come, even things we haven't even invented yet. Huge thanks to General Motors for inviting us to check out the Blazer EV up close. There's another video on EVs on screen. Thanks for watching.